underneath East Gardens Grandstand. Cup of lime cooler in my hand. A grubby bloke in a grubby land. Grubs, you bloody beauty. Hello and welcome to Three Sips No Cover, the Sports Bet Cricket Podcast. Uh, now, a big week in cricket. Unfortunately, uh, Australia suck. India are very good. Uh, we'll get to more on that later. But alongside me, Skip and Rambo, as always, to, to pull it all apart. What a week. You must be chuffed, Rambo. Well, look, you know, I do have a little bit of a soft spot for the Indian cricket team, but I think uh, I wasn't by myself there, Ham. I reckon there was a, quite a few people at the Gabba watching yep. on TV as it all unfolded, unraveled quite quickly, yep. didn't it, Skip? We've been in those situations before. Um there was even like a few kind of uh, younger people who were happy to kind of chime in and get around the Indians. Rashad Pant obviously yeah. stole the mm. show there. And um, it was, you know, probably one of the biggest, you know, most eventful days in Australian cricket, even though it was on the negative side of the balance. Yeah, very emotional. Yeah, well, it was. And it's one of those things is, is we've been through this a lot. And we're usually on the other end of it where, like, we're batting and we think, oh, we, we're going to – we're going to actually get through this and then we just collapse. Yep. And it was like a reverse collapse. I was waiting for that to happen to them like it happens to us down at East Garden so much. Yep. But it was the opposite. It was like everything you're hitting, everything you're putting at them, they're just putting over the fence or they're putting to the fence. They're absolutely dominant. You can't hate them for it. It's. I think it's probably the most liked Indian team we will ever see on our soil. Yeah. I will say that because they're all on. There's net bowlers and blokes that <laughs> yeah. may, may play this series and not What's again. What's a net bowler? Yeah. yeah that, that's the other yeah, thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, no, you're spot on though, Skip. You're spot on. It was a great win. Uh, amazing. Inspirational stuff, but uh, very emotional as well. Oh. Uh, we're back on KO. Uh, good to see everyone back on KO. We're re- yeah, uh, enjoying the KO we're, experience so far, boys. I love the KO experience. Well, how do we, we got through? And we're up to episode yep. two, which is uh, well, it stunned Survived. me. But, yeah. uh, very happy to be here. Probably my favourite bit, though, yep. of the uh, KO um, broadcast yep. was, and I think the guys have got a nice little tidy graphic for us here to sum it up. Um, this bit here, you can mm. see that is a tremendous shot, isn't it, Skip? Uh, uh, three slips, no cover. January 14th. There you go. You just got your two That's poster you boys need. up there to do all the hard work. Yeah. I really look. I know we're only new to the Open KO. Open bowlers only, Hammy. Yeah. The, the cartel, <laughs> obviously. For that. I know we're only cartel new. Cartel of two. I know we're new to the KO uh, partnership, but I really do hope someone got sacked for that mid <laughs> um, because that's not on. It made me feel a little bit like this. I feel like I'd seen it before somewhere. <laughs> Uh, Mike Wazowski there on listening <laughs> to the podcast listeners. Um, still thrilled to be a part of it, but, uh, you know, uh, lift your game, basically. Full credit to Hammy for getting a Monsters Inc. reference into a cricket podcast. I know that's been on uh, a goal yeah. of yours for many, They many said many I'd never do so. it. It was my big rock for 2021 and we've done it. What is it? Pixar the, tick. Yeah, the 21st yeah, of there Jan. We're, we're well, look, the stats it. came in and, and we flew on KO week one because of that opening thumbnail, so... You lead with your best, yep. and um, I don't think there's a need to update it. Well done all. Well, we'll agree to disagree there. Hey, uh, one thing that uh, di- also disagreed with the Australian team was the DRS once again. Uh, Absolutely. Through the, yes, the well, testimony. I mean, we're talking about um, slight errors. Yep. We're going to use a segment here, DRS, Yep. and we're going to go upstairs, and we're going to go through a little uh, of the moments that we had in last week's yep. show, of course, um, and we're going to lead off with <laughs> you. my my good self here, yep. and um, here was my prediction for the fourth test of the Gabba. We go up to Brisbane. He's fifteen dollars to score a century in both knocks, and that, of course, was referencing Steve Smith. Um, didn't go that well. No, did it? No, didn't, didn't age well that one. <laughs> a, a Tim Payne esque review that one. In my defence, yeah, I, I wasn't. Sh- I wasn't sure that um, India were going to pick. Washington Sunday, and everyone in world cricket knows that uh, Steve Smith is in Washington Sunday's pocket. So, yeah, that's right. you know, look, that was a bit of an oversight on my uh, part. And apologies to all those punters who got on the 15 bucks. Mr. Uh, Smith goes to Washington in the first <laughs> innings was the, the headline there. I yeah. also came down um, with oh, a bit I of a, a fever there, on uh, Brisbane Heat's Afghani spinner. Yep. Majib, I've got Majib fever. This guy's great. No one can pick him. In one of the testing clinics. <laughs> I think, I think we get a swab. Uh, I think mm. get a swab for Majib. Yeah. I'm definitely testing positive. Yeah, so um, Majib's gone home. Yeah, the, swab, um, the swab's coming back negative. I think the whole heat chat can just go in the bin because remember he got back on him again. You took the 10 bucks. They're yep. still alive. I'm doubling They're still down. Alive. They're, they're out to 12 now. So I wasn't aware again. for the price. 
I wasn't aware that anyone was allowed to move anywhere in and out of the country at the moment. So I figured Majeev might be sitting yeah, fair enough, yeah. in the Sunshine State. But um, <laughs> yeah, maybe one retained, one lost there. Absolutely. And then I think uh, I might actually use a review here, if that's okay, uh, for my own work on, on the Gabba test as well. Before so you press Smith, the button. Smith has scored a ton. Ton, minus to a half ton in the first innings. That's, that's 10 bucks. Now that's Skip's yeah, that's one. me. So uh, Mark, let's be honest. I did what Rambo did. I honestly thought Steve Smith would come out and just, in fairness, he went out stupidly. Yep, he was looking yep. good until that point. And I said, Mar- minus the 50. He, he tunned up. Mm. So I wasn't that, at least my players are still in the country. I'll give you a retained. Play, yeah. so <laughs> that's a hundred percent. That's, that's umpire's call. That's true. Can I, should I still burn my review? I know uh, we've had a bit of a there. <laughs> Uh, a wicket keeper, wicket keeper yeah, to take two or more catches in each of the four innings of the test match. That, for me, seems like a great bet at six bucks as well. That's yeah, a good point. Plenty of snicks. Mate, uh, more, more nicks than a Greek wedding. Yeah. Uh, probably more like an Australian wedding. Still a few <laughs> nicks, but um, not as many as you would get at a Greek one. I think we missed out in the first innings there. Yeah. There's only Bit one. unlucky. A lot flew to second slip. Ray Charmer had a, had a great test match. Yep. Steve Smith, um, the second grippers are all over it. They so were. maybe, you know... Six bucks, probably not enough to retain your view there. Having Maybe Dave Mule and those out. on the trading floor are uh, second grippers to take two or more in each innings for the next uh, <laughs> as a BYO bet. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. It's a big blocker, Wilson. How good is he when he just just nonchalantly gives a finger? 100%. 100%, absolutely. Uh, I tell you, what, we might have a quick check-in on the air. Uh, big Bash draft, mm, batting draft. The draft. There's still a lot of cricket to be played, boys. I'm surprised you're bringing it up. Is what I would say. Yeah, well... <laughs> It's on the run sheet, so better, better, better stick to the script. Uh, let's have a quick look at the graphic, if we've got it there. Here's the scoreboard. Um, there we go. Getting interesting now, isn't yeah. it, Skip? Yeah. Uh, obviously yeah, a two-horse race. Do you know what annoyed me last night, Rambo? Storm was looking great and yep. then just threw it away. I thought he was in for a good 70 He could have got you, you know, he we know how Storm goes big as well. Yeah. So he yeah. could have inched you very much closer to me. Not long to go now. I think we're wrapping up in about September. So still a bit of time That's right. um, to get a few more runs in there. Uh uh, cruel intentions there, Ryan Felipe is doing the hard hard yards. That's right. The team so Skip, Rambo. For the, for the, for the podcast listeners, uh, Skip and Rambo well ahead there. I'm about 400 runs behind. But as I say, still a lot of cricket to be played. Um, he's hoping that Nick Manson gets put up the order. Is some it, stage. Do, were we silly leaving McDermott on the table? I yes, mean, there's a dozen players there. We knew he was going to play. He's such a great big bash bat. Yep. Uh, yeah, One yeah. for the future. Hindsight, yeah, a beautiful thing. I did have a chat to Dave Newell and the boys and our friends on the trading floor. I said, if you were going to... Trade this market live. What would mm. what would the odds Ooh. be? And Newley's come back. Rambo a dollar forty. Big market over him. there. Wally three twenty five. I'll take that. And uh, a bit of free money. Hand me twenty six bucks. <laughs> um, if you like money, I'm going to say I'm overs and you're unders. I, I, I would say you're overs. Skip because anything can happen with seventy. And seventy runs is not a lot of runs. That's yeah. the difference there. So punters, get around me. Oh, have we got it live? Or are we just saying if we were if we had it live. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's um, what I would. Of we course, should, yeah, we should just have it live. Newly, if you're watching this, uh, <laughs> get it live. Give the, give the, I don't know if that's allowed or not, but come on. Um, well, there we go. I th- I'm feeling quietly confident on that one. Uh, maybe we'll have a quick uh, drop in on some fines. Um, does Let's that sound do about it. right? A bit of negativity. Into yeah. The show. I'll kick us off. Uh, last week, we, we heard from uh, Legends of Indian Cricket about Steve Smith and his unsportsmanlike apparently conduct on the wicket. Let's have a quick look at Rohit Sharma and the way that he <laughs> carried on. Uh, in front of Smith. <laughs> Doing the same thing. That's a fine. Get out of here. Um, you're not allowed. Not that, that, allowed I'm going to have to scratch that for my full credit to the boys this year because I thought that was bloody hilarious. It was pretty Just, good, uh, but, uh, you know, mate, it was at the it expense can be of in both. Us. I, I wasn't in the mood after uh, a tough loss. <laughs> Rohit so. Sharma, too, is good. He does know where the cameras are. He does. Yeah, uh, plays up to it very nice. I think he was very aware that Steve Smith was batting at the same time. Yeah. Good fun, Ray Charm. Absolutely. Uh, I'll go. Yep. Uh, that's your only fine, Hammy. Just bang. Yeah, I'm just going to get it short and sharp um, there. Cu- two for me. Uh, first one, um, I'll give half the wage to everyone of the kind of old boys brethren in cricket Australia who just didn't have the gumption to give it to the Aussie players, criticise them going into the, the last test or criticise them mid-test because what they really needed was some fire in the belly. They needed yeah. someone to prod them, poke them, chuck them under the bus if you want to use that term. Yeah. Shane Warne usually likes to do this. Um, but everyone Chuck else, the hog pile. That's yep. right, hog pile, very relevant. Yep. Um, but your Jason Gillespie's and your Stuart Class are yeah. just all a bit too nice. And appreciate that they're fantastic blokes, and we're big fans of them. Yep. But sometimes you've got to do the right thing, 
put the guys under pressure, light a bit of a Abuse fire in them yeah. and see what happens. I'm sure they're still going to have a beer with you, especially if they've won and you yep. were the person who inspired them to a victory. So yep. I think that might have to change. Obviously, it's all, all too late now if you're coming out and criticising them after they've lost 2-1 to India. Yep. Needed it earlier, fellas. Needed yep. it earlier. Damage done. Um, my second part of the fine goes to you. Now, this is pretty harsh. Um, there's a lot of emotions going. But Prithvi Shaw... Um, is a opening bat for India, has been dropped. So he can't even get his spot in the team. He's yep. not injured, he doesn't get a broken arm or lost a groin like Bahari. Yep. Um, here he is. He's the first one running onto the field to congratulate Rashad Pant. Um, he's done very, very squeak all this whole series. Deadly. I probably would have just stayed in my seat a little bit, a yeah, couple let, of little fist bumps the, let to the myself. Sort of pride and just, yeah. Hug the spinning coach or something yep. like that before you get around. <laughs> yeah. um, get get around good the mate, Rashad performance Pratt. manager. Probably yep. didn't need a run to centre wicket um, to get around the hero. So um, He looks like a little kid who's just worn his whites to the game and <laughs> run out there and got amongst it. It's like when you go to watch your dad play when you're young and you're like, yeah, yeah I'll get around that. I'll get involved. Well, someone, I mean, I guess someone had to fill in for Virat Kohli in that, in, in that sequence. So, Surprised uh, he didn't have his pants it, number on his back. Yeah, he's a fan. I think that the, the tactics from the Indian, uh, the BCC, I was like, get everyone out there, just get a stump. you got to get one back to Virat. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, need, he needs stumps. That's all, that's all he needs. Skip off the long run today with a, with a fine. Yeah, so I'm, we, we, we're going a little closer to home this week. I mean, in general, probably uh, armchair selectors. Yep. Just people to select from the couch. We've all done it. We all do it. The more beers you have, the better you get at it. We know that. But I've got a pot, one of our own, yep. our, our, uh, our grub flanners. Yep. Flanners, what are you doing, mate? This is uh, just some of the team he'd like to see. So he wants both the marshes back in Kawaja. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Seb Gotch is a good <laughs> cricketer, but that's his mate. And he he's tried to, to put Gotchi in. So he wants he Gotchi to... to be our keeper. He wants the marshes. He wants Swepson. Look at some of the, he wants Swepson in for line. I mean, like, Flanners has officially lost it. And I think he's just out there trying to please mostly Victorians and blokes he knows. And for some reason, he loves the Marsh brothers. Like, he yeah. loves them. He does. And he wanted to bat uh, Gotchi at 11 there, which was interesting as well. <laughs> the whole thing is. That's, yeah, I thought I was giving jobs for the boys and then he's put Gotchi at the No, 11, no, so uh... Flanners, you get a big whack and I'll give another little one. And I know I am just, everyone knows this, I am 100% in camp Payne. Yep. Love Timmy Payne. Um, and I think what he's done, he deserves it. And that, let's not forget the amount of runs he's making. Yes. If you want to Average talk about 40. captaincy and all of that, like we, everyone forgets that. He's had a bad test with the gloves, but he's genuinely our best keeper. And everyone's like, oh, we need someone else. Like, I'm sorry, Seb Gotch is not the answer to take over with the gloves and to average 40 with the bat. Um, <laughs> Greg Chappell came out and wrote him a letter, an open letter to Tim Payne. How good's an open letter? Is it Greg Chappell? Look at the paper. <laughs> <laughs> I just want about leadership. Is Greg Chappell, and just I might be wrong here, is Greg Chappell the guy that ordered his brother to roll a ball along the ground to win a game of cricket? Yes, that that's is it. Okay, that's enough. There you go. Great leadership, Greg. Well done, mate. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the sort of person we need to hear from. Yes. Okay, great. Glass houses is uh, what you're getting out there. There you go. You mate. know what? I wouldn't mind seeing an open letter. From yourself, um, considering uh, all the pressure that Timmy Payne's under, obviously uh, acquaintances, if not great mates, yeah, um, you might appreciate it. And I think there'd be a few people out there would be uh, like oh. to see your considered view of the there situation. That's great, mate. Swapped and, hats, I believe, at one point. Yeah, right. at, yes. at one point, yeah. I mean, yeah. But that was just two captains. I, it's, this is not a, it's not a personal thing. I just think from one captain to another that that uh, have to deal in elite sporting situations. That, <laughs> that was just two silverback gorillas of leadership just going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, um, <laughs> yes, and it was beautiful Amy. to watch. Uh, I want to continue the negativity here because uh, yeah. it's time for <laughs> this segment, which went so well last week. Boom. Roasted. No one's safe. And uh, today the Aussie cricket <laughs> team is getting it. The Australian cricket team, you failed to win. We've always won at the Gabbatoir mm. against India C. <laughs> have a good hard look at yourselves. You're, you are nothing short of a disgrace. You've got a test series coming up in a couple of weeks against South Africa. And like Flanners, I have made sweeping changes. Here is my 11. Uh, I've gone for a mix of experience and familiar faces. Kawaja Pekowski, uh, Sean Marsh gets the C. He's in. I've gone back to Alex Doolan, uh, Mark Cosgrove through sheer weight of runs. Uh, Scotty Kremerskothen, I've given a – I like the option of a C yeah. in there. Uh, I, I am denied about that one, but I, I, I want a guy there who averages 20 with the bat, 40 with the ball. Look no further. Ryan Campbell, the, uh, important. In the Ryan Campbell with the gloves. And uh, I did think Sean Klingler, 
Zephyr. I think we've lost our way with the Tassie Wicket Keeper in recent times. Yep. Uh, Ryan Campbell with the baseball face mask on. That's going to be good audio for the stump, Mike. <laughs> Ashley Nofke, uh, he whinged Inspired about not selection. getting a go. Yeah. So he's back in. Jai Richardson, uh, just for a bit of youth. Mick Lewis, he's got a few demons to put to rest against South Africa. Does his best know. work over there, doesn't he? Dan Cullen, I think uh, harshly <laughs> done by one one test at Chittagong. He played Dizzy's game. And uh, unfortunately, I, st- I couldn't find room still for Michael Nisa, so he'll be carrying the drinks again. <laughs> mixing, mixing um, and Merv for a bit of mongrel. So. Uh, behind uh, Pekoski, Merv's the most sensible selection there. Yeah, that's right. So, Sean Marsh, the captain, that'll, uh, that'll get everyone in the comment section, no doubt. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the change I've made. Australia, have a good hard look at yourself. Uh, if it was up to me, that is the team that would be taking the field wherever that series is going to get played. We don't know yet, but uh, boom. Roasted. Boom, roasted. Boom, roasted. Yeah. roasted. <laughs> Happy with that one today? Very good, yeah. Hammy. Rambo, your thoughts on the test? Well, a little bit light on the crackling there, I thought, Ham. Like when he when he yeah. barreled the camera so intently, I was like, Jesus, strap yourself in here. Hammy yeah. could do um, some real damage. Rambo finished saying, there's no use in having a go at him now, like it's after the, after the fact. <laughs> yeah. um, Should have put it further up the run sheet. Well, look, I think if I, if I put it back to you, Skip, and, I, and to yep. the table and went, what was the one thing, if you have to pinpoint one thing only, that um, Australia did wrong? Uh, I mean, I might lead off here. Outside of, you know, not taking 20 wickets, uh, outside of probably not making enough runs um, from your top order, I think Australia just got a bit ahead of themselves. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the one thing they did wrong. Uh, after the Adelaide 36s, um, they went into the MCG. They lost the Boxing Day test. That's not a small thing. Um, outplayed there. Yep. Uh, couldn't get the job done in Sydney, but they still waltz into Brisbane thinking we've got this. It's a lay down is there. Yep. We never lose here. Uh, we're quick. We've got a quick deck. You, uh, India haven't got their best team. Yeah. Here's, here's the news flash. You're playing a test match against anyone in the world. It's going to be tough. You yep. can never take anything for granted. Indian batsmen are good. They don't mind it coming onto the bat. We mentioned it last uh, week that, you know, if you wanted to have a look at an Indian player to score a century, Gil just missed out. I think he got in the 90s. Oh, Pant Gil probably would have got, got there. Yeah. yeah. But um, I think they just got ahead of themselves and a little bit of arrogance, yep. dare I say it. Um, Got in their way and probably just made them uh, lose those pivotal moments, as Tim Payne pointed out. There wasn't a lot of runs scored by the team. I think Rashad Pant was the highest run scorer for the Indian series. Yep. Um, that it was all a bit mental, and we yeah. know more than anyone's when it comes into tough situations. Uh, cricket's a mental sport. That's yep. why Test cricket's some of the best. Local cricket's some of the best. Uh, they just failed in those. So that'd be my one thing that they yep. probably just got ahead of themselves, the Aussies. Yeah, and we collapsed better than anyone, Rambo. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I look at this, and I, I think that. Our inability to pivot was the thing for me. It's to stay agile. Uh, there was a lot of different things. And it's not to sort of go, we're so quick to change our batting order and drop our batsmen, but mm. yet our bowlers seem to just get the, all this bit of yeah. grace. Yep. Mitchell Stark struggled through that entire series. Is there not a chance to give somebody else a go at the Gabba? And everyone would be like, no, 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 but he's, no, no. Why wouldn't you yeah. when you've got someone like – they dropped Travi Head after a bad test, after mm. last time he's here, we're going to the G and he makes a ton and he's made runs and like no one's making runs anyway. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you got something like that and then we're happy to drop him, but then it's like, oh, well, we can't drop one of our fast bowlers. So I think that's a bit silly, but more just during the game. It seemed like we stuck with the same fielding positions for a period of time. Not a lot of plan B, Skip. A lot of plan B, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of this, let's stick, 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 and that comes back. I don't know if it's arrogance, but, like, we're going to win this. Yep. It's the Gabba. It doesn't we can just happen, just, right? We can yep. just stay here. But do you know what? You had a team that – and I heard um, – I heard uh, – I listened to a lot of stuff on radio and listened to people like uh, Scoob, friend of the show, yes. and uh, and others that just made so much sense. And a few of the different things I heard, one of them was, like, we don't think about this, but this is a team uh, – this is a champion team beating a team of champions. It's probably a term we use more in footy and things like yeah. that. Yep. But it genuinely was. Like, we have some superstars in this team. We've got the best bowler in the world, the best batsman in the world, and a heap of supporting cast. Um, and then you've got this team of unknowns, basically, and they just mop the floor with us. Yeah. So, for me, like, you need to adapt. You need to pivot. I'm not as worried about the referrals because – do you know what? That DRS system is just for the tip. <laughs> we know that. Yeah. And the other thing is when pressure gets on top of you, you're going to just do everything you can to yep. try and get a decision. Decisions so are never easy. For me, yeah, our lack of agility, our lack to pivot. Yeah. Agility, good corporate word there for yeah, Skip. Yeah, very good corporate word. Interesting they went away from the ro- bowling rotation policy, worked so well on the Ashes. 
Yep. Burnt us, hurt us. Well, that's the other thing I don't get. Why yep. Why wouldn't we be looking at that again? I know there's injuries. I understand yeah, that. Yeah. Like, pat on that. But but still, we have such great bowling stock. Felt like off the back of the World Cup, the rotation made more sense than this summer where they hadn't played a lot of cricket. So you didn't think that. That's they're, true. You know, yeah. that, is, that is a good point. Uh, but apart from that, I think the, the, the tactic that I had the most was there was so much. You have a guy batting at like number seven, eight or nine, and you'd always be giving – him a single to try and get yep. other guys on strike. There's no pressure on those guys. You should be trying to get those guys out too. Yep. And too often it's like, yeah, it's your days, you have a single. Washington, Sunda have a single. Yep. Yep. So we can have a crack at the other ones. Yep. And those runs added up and they cost us in a couple of games. So I agree. Well, Let's, Shane Wall mentioned yeah. it well. The pressure brings wickets for Australia. That's how they yep. get poles. Yep. Um, and as soon as you let that pressure release, you know, uh, a bit of um, counter-attacking cricket mm. um, from the tourists uh, puts the bowlers on the back foot. Yeah, pressure. Um, and, Burst uh, pipes and creates diamonds, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, makes you think. Well, that was that was fantastic. I mean, if we clipped that up and just completely not put that into the podcast, people would think, um, you know, that was a normal episode of Three Sips No Cover. Yeah, yeah. So sorry Some, for uh, that. Good analysis there, get, everyone. Sorry for the analysis. Uh, we got something else. <laughs> Can we get back to something that's a little oh, bit yeah. more on? Uh... Absolutely. Well, let's, let's give it a credit to the boy. A bit of positivity. Yes. Nice, yes. Credit to the boys. I want to start off with uh, Randy Craddock. Uh, Randy Caddick, my apologies. I think we've got a photo of him there uh, for those watching on KO. He's an English super fan. If you're not familiar with this story, this bloke here is a DJ who <laughs> went over to uh, uh, Sri Lanka last year when they were supposed to play a test series, um, England versus Sri Lanka. It got postponed due to COVID. Uh, he goes, no, nah, bugger it. I'm going to stay here until they play the series. He stayed over there by himself. Uh, until this series 10 months later, and he sat on top of the fort at Gaul there for all five days, sang the songs, got around the team. He's a one-man Barmy Army. Uh, Randy Caddick, congratulations. Credit to you for being a good supporter. That is a, a big session on the decks. Huge session, isn't it? Yeah. A 10-month set. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, well played. Yeah, good Brand, on him. Good name too, Randy Caddick. Yep. What is the club saying like in Sri Lanka? Does anyone know? Is it uh, Slug's been. Has he? He raved he has, about it. He did. Yeah. He came back with a strength and hat. Came back half a shade darker, but um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he got a son. Yeah. Um, I'll go full credit to the boys, fellas. Uh, obviously, first to India for having a bloody go. Um, no one thought they were going to win that test match, yep. uh, except for them. So it takes some uh, extra big cajones to pull that off. So well done, India. Uh, Ravi Sastri, Ajinka Rahane. Uh, my main credit to the boys goes to India again. Um, classy in victory. They also uh, paid... Uh, Honour to Nathan Lyon yep. and his 100th test, as we yep. see here. Uh, handed over him a signed shirt. Um, and if we just zoom in there a little bit closer, I think he said, hope this isn't as bad as Headingley. So oh, that's a wow. nice little touch from uh, the Indians there, just to yeah, make sure blow, that, uh, blow blow um, you know, Lyon and the GOAT uh, walked and away from the Gabba. Eh? Yes, yeah, good credit to no, the class of the Indians stokes. there. Um, also, full credit to the boys. Now, to our Prez, who... Um, isn't the, the sharpest tool in the shed. No. It's only just getting around the use of the iPhone. Yep. But he did send me this photo um, and he said... He sent a photo. That is worth it. He sent a credit. photo, which I thought he could he never do. from his son. Um, yeah. where, where he's obviously got a lot of incriminating, thing, incriminating things on his uh, yeah. phone that we're happy that he yeah, can't what was send. It? But, uh, we'll put this on KO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a, a skip parked outside his garden called Rambo's Rubbish. And um, he's just said, oh, there we go. Um, g'day, mate. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll put the, the truck in the right position this week. So, yeah. yeah, that's just on the boundary other side of the park there at East Garden. That's basically any batsman that we've played against. Uh, uh, so, Rambo. full credit to the Preds for finally getting one off um, out of the chamber and getting a laugh out of uh, yours truly. Yep. And, and lastly, uh, we don't have a picture of this one, but I'll just read it out to you. It's the great man, Ian Chappell. Um, in commentary, when asked about Tim Payne's captaincy, Skip, you'll love this one in particular, Chappelle replied, good captaincy is a bit like pornography. Interesting. Hard to define, but you know it when you see it. And we'll just leave that there for me and Chapel because I think that conjures up uh, a lot of uh, interesting images. But full credit for Chapelli to try to broaden his commentary range, which yeah. is getting a bit love, dull. I love when Chapelli dips into porno. Yeah. Like, that, that's that's <laughs> just me. Chapelli um, talking porno. Keep it up. There you go. Keep it up. So there uh, you skip. Go. You any credit to the boys? Uh, uh, look, for me, I'm keeping, it, I'm keeping it pretty simple this week. Last week I actually gave it to Vera Coley, so it's weird to touch on two Indians once. But <laughs> I will say this, and just proven by this, everybody is talking about Shastri, everyone's talking about Rahana, everyone's talking about what a pun, all of this. I genuinely think the biggest hero of this test, categorically, is Pajara. He got hit by the ball 10 times in different places. Yep. He was absolutely in bits. You could see that, but he just stuck in, stuck in, stuck in. And that sets... 
a standard for the younger guys and the newer guys coming yes, in that go down. And, look, it was very, very different. Remember when Graham Smith busted his arm and came out and, yep. and batted those last overs? That's what we're talking about, but just in a different way and, yep. and, and a more effective format early in the test. I just, for me, I just looked at that and gone, damn, they – the way he is playing through all of these hits, they're going to win this test or they're at least going to draw. We're, we're not getting him out because the standard was set. So, well done. Well, yeah. credit Pajara. Yeah. Well done to him. Warrior. Look at the test championship now. Yeah, obviously, in Australia, are not looking so great. No, that's right. You're looking more like India, New Zealand in England. So, Big, uh, massive asterisk over the test championship for me this, this time, Rambo. <laughs> right? It's COVID. I mean, yeah. like, it doesn't really. It doesn't count. Yeah. Um, Rambo, quiz we're on to. Rambo's quiz. Oh. Now, we've had uh, Skip's clip and uh, Hammy's, uh, what do you call it? Roast. Hammy's roast. That's all right. Uh, but the, the punters love Rambo's quiz, especially at the they end do. of a series or uh, an end of a, a run of podcasts. So we brought it back. And uh, that quiz we had, where I don't think any of us got any of the answers. That was right. the World Cup quiz. There was ten questions. They were all multiple choice with three options, and we answered twenty different things, and we got zero right. That's right. Harder They're to not- get zero. That is a true story. Go back to the <laughs> post ODI World Cup. <laughs> Out of thirty <laughs> options, we got twenty selections, and there was only. Well, 10 it's not supposed right. to be easy, Skip. Yeah. No, like, but I mean, this isn't Rambo's. Don't call it Rambo's quiz for nothing. You yeah. get one. Yep. Here we go. Let's lead it off. Question number one. Josh <laughs> Hazelwood hit seven boundaries in the series. Look at that. We've got graphics as well for those at home. Wow. That is equal with what other player? Coley, Vahari, Warner or Head? Uh, Warner. I'm going Travi Head. The answer is D. Warner. Oh. Well done. Yes. Uh, Goodman. I'm away. One well vote. Uh, question two. Nathan Lyon is the leading wicket taker in the world since his debut. 396 wickets. Didn't get to 400, unfortunately, this series. Broad. Who's next? Anderson, Southie, Ashwin or Broad? I'll say Anderson if you're going Broad. Stuart Broad is the answer. Broad City, baby. 385. Look out. On a hatchet here. Hammy. Loosen up those vocals, Rambo. Question three. <laughs> Not yet, he hasn't. <laughs> Who was the player of the match in Australia's last defeat at the Gabba? I know this. Now, if you don't know the year, you can automatically I, leave the studio I know right the now. Answer. Ian Botham, Kirtley Ambrose, Viv Richards or Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Greenwich? Three, two, one. Kirby Ambrose. Oh. Well, I think I'm going to deduct both your points now, Hammy. You can't do that. Because England didn't even play in that match. It wasn't Ian Botham. That was a red ring. It was Kirtley Ambrose. 1988, it was Kirtley Ambrose. Um, Interesting fact, Courtney Walsh took a hat-trick in that match as well, but to over innings. Oh, yep. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Mm. Um, (laughs) That was a very intimidating uh, West Indian team. Nothing like the the, the lineup that India put out. Uh, Question number four. So we've got Wally on one and Hammy on zero. Washington <laughs> Sundar review. was named after who? George Washington, Ooh. former president. Very topical right now. Denzel Washington, PD Washington, or Malavai Washington? Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Malavai Washington. Do I go with Malavai as well, or do I need something different? You both. In, <laughs> it's not Malavai Washington, former 1996 Wimbledon finalist, lost to Roy, Richard Krychek. Uh oh, It's who, PD Washington. Who's PD Washington? PD Washington. Malavai Washington, <laughs> tennis player, not. He's a tennis player from the. We United just thought he was a human right. We know the Sundars <laughs> love their tennis. We know the Sundars love their. Yeah, tennis. yeah. It was PD. It was, there was uh, no PD Washington. Uh, uh, Washington Sundar's dad named him after uh, a man in the army who basically took after his dad. Took, looked after him and paid for his uni, paid for his cricket gear, paid oh. for everything. Um, very nice man. So he named his son in his, yeah, in his yeah. honour. Yeah, lovely. Almost there. Uh, still skip 1-0. Steve Smith, I think they're looking at my sheet here, uh, is now 37th in the all-time test runs. He passed Mark Taylor at the Gabba. Which Aussie is Smith next to surpass on the all-time test list? David Boone, Mark Ward, Justin Langer or Michael Clark? Uh, so Steve Michael Smith Clark. now has 7,540 yep. runs. I reckon he's no, going to... Sorry. He's going to pass... Uh, no, nah, you locked in Michael Clark. He's going to pass Junior, I reckon. Next. Uh, the answer is Justin Langer, uh, his coach. Okay. Seriously. 7,696. He's got so many. Seriously, fellas. Seriously. Yeah. Still one nil to skip. Gee, this is tough going. <laughs> Last one. one I don't even think we have a graphic for this, unfortunately, but uh, we'll give you one more chance to deadlock it up, yeah. Hammy. Okay. What is Baiju's known for? It's on the front of the Indian shirt. I was going to say that's what they're known for, being on the front <laughs> of the Indian shirt. Are they SIM they, cards, online education, fresh water, or cars and motorbikes? Online education. I'll go SIM cards. It's online education. Hammy draws the series one. All Read well book, done. Mate. No, draw Get series. yourself some online education <laughs> with Baiju's. Uh, that's Rambo's Chris brought to you by go. Baiju's or Kirtley Ambrose or one of those people. Rambo's Peter Washington. waste removal. Very well done. <laughs> good to be back and back on top of the quiz. Uh, good stuff. Well done. 
I don't that kind feel of as bad as I thought it would with the draw. Maybe we should uh, take something. Well, from you that, you're Hammy. unlucky there, Skip, because I, I sneaked that last one in. You should have won one nil. But uh, Hammy, you can. Uh, yeah, you should have won one nil because I got two answers right, and then uh, you, <laughs> you just said, took the points we're off. We're talking about the series that West Indies famously beat Australia at the Gabba in '88. Yeah. Just showing you your age there, I think, Hammy. Yeah, before my time, though. Uh, hey, let's have a quick shot at the stumps before we get out of here. We are not going so well at these. These will be no. ripe for the DRSC. We haven't, we have not land, we haven't given the punters much value yep. yet. No. Are any of you? And confident? I don't think it's going to start. I'm very confident. <laughs> I'll, I'll lead us off then. I, you go. You go. I'll Are go. you leading us off? Who's leading us I'll, off? You know what? I'll lead us off. Yeah. How does that sound? Beautiful. The Melbourne Stars to win the Big Bash oh, at $9.50. <laughs> they had a shocker last night against the Renegades. Um, but they generally play all their best cricket right up to the finals, run out of puff, and they stink. This year they've been dr- pretty ordinary right the way through. But they've got enough star power in that team. Yep. They've got four or five guys who could win a game off their own bat and uh, or ball as the case may be. So if, if one of them clicks in big games, they're going to be tough to beat. $9.50 you're getting them for. Absolute value. I think this year's the year they bet the hoodoo. Well, well, I tipped them in the start, so I hope you're right, Rambo. Well, nothing says confidence like uh, backing a team that just lost to probably one of the worst Big Bash teams that's ever been assembled in the How's Renegade. the bowling so, attack? Yeah, <laughs> bowling unbelievable bet there from Hammy. Um, I'm going to go a little bit uh, closer to home, and when I mean that, I mean just bringing the odds in a little bit, but going all the way to Sri Lanka... Dom Best to take the most wickets for Sri Lanka in the second test. For Sri Lanka. Well, that's going to be an interesting... Uh, for um, England, obviously, yep. uh, at 325 uh, yep. over in Sri Lanka. Yep. But if you also... Um, I think the cricket world, it works on balance, yep. right? And after that shocking loss for Australia against India, we need something to counteract that. Sri Lanka to win the test match against England is $2.60. That might just put the cricket universe back on balance, Hammy. Yep. Okay. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I'm going to keep this really, really simple. There's a doubleheader coming up uh, this weekend. And for me, I think the two teams that are going to fight this out, especially when they get players back, are the Sixers and the Scorchers. Nice. They're both playing. You're getting a good price because you've got the Derby and then you've got uh, the Scorchers take on Hurricane. So you're getting a good price for both around that dollar ninety mark. Take them both. They're both going to win. You're going to get three eighty uh, as you, for your multi. That's it for me. Like, nice. it's just, I'm tired phase. of messing about looking for players to do this and players to do that. I'm just going to back these two teams. I'm very confident they'll both win. Yep. Um, and I'll be backing through the rest bit of the season. A bit of Simon Marshall about that. A little bit of back Simon more winners. Back more winners. Mixed multi. Funny, nearly, nearly <laughs> all on these KO. things, yeah. That's going to be Very a, nicely uh, done. a legal discussion I don't want to be part of. Uh, great show, <laughs> everybody. Uh, well done. Let's hope we can find a few winners for once. Uh, KO, thanks for having us once again. Uh, grow up, gamble responsibly. We'll see you next week. Underneath East Gardens Grandstand. Cup of lime cooler in my hand. A grubby bloke in a grubby land. Grubs, you bloody beauty.